hello y'all welcome me welcome you back to my channel this is everything that Lucci does and I'm here to bring you guys a follow-up um, to kind of go over a few more things for my BBL and breast augmentation that it's definitely coming soon so let's jump right into this you guys okay so I have gotten my labs um, first off let's I want to let you guys know first that my doctor, if you haven't heard, is Dr. Marcos Soto, and he's in the DR, Dominican Republic, and I am going through a coordinator, and she's basically like my big sister, you know what I mean, helping me, covering everything, and kind of like the front person um, for me, taking care of all the business, all the you know the planning and all of that the dates and everything and all i got to do is bring my fundamentals i wanted to talk to you guys about my labs and let's see those right now actually so um she had me my coordinator had me go to my doctor and to get certain um things done um they wanted to check my glucose so looking on my paperwork here my glucose was at a normal level also they wanted to know about my my iron my hemoglobin my hemoglobin is at a 12.3 also um so i feel like that's at a pretty decent level um i found out my blood type my blood type is a b positive so that's good to know. Didn't know that before. They also um, tested for any like diseases and things like that. So uh, they did hepatitis, hepatitis C and hep B and HIV. So all of that came back negative. Okay. So um, yeah, so everything's pretty good. Cell count, you know, white blood cells, all of that looks normal. So um, I just got to send this information to her and um, she sends that to the doctor. So pretty straightforward so far. Um, okay, so now I want to kind of go over my carry-on. You guys, I am only bringing a carry-on. I don't want to bring no luggage. I don't I just I just feel like why like why I'm probably not gonna be feeling like holding and hauling a whole bunch of stuff back and forth you know and I just kind of want to just have my my you know my small little my bag you know I'm gonna make sure I stuff everything accordingly and I'm good I I'm good so this is what I'm gonna bring in my carry-on so there's a few things I've I haven't bought though. One of which is a safe and a stool softener. But let me go over um, my vitamins. So I'm gonna bring my vitamins. Uh, my vitamins are Super B Complex Vitamin C, and we have some iron. Oh, on that note, um, I did want to let you guys know. Uh, I've been taking these iron pills pretty regularly um, I only take one a, a tablet a day but um, I was told by another person on YouTube that to get your your levels up pretty fast you can take the liquid version of iron and so that's what I also bought I went on Amazon and bought this all you got to do is shake it up and take a teaspoon of this and just follow it with some water and it's it's pretty good and and it doesn't taste bad so I like this hopefully um, it brings my my levels up pretty high I heard you can only get to about a 16 and anything above that that's poison I don't know something like that and too oops too low of that you need a blood transfusion so I'm at a 12 so I'm I'm good for surgery but um, 
I did want to try to make it my levels as high as possible so hopefully I'll get to like a 13 um, but I'll definitely be doing this every single day and as far as taking it with me on the flight I might have to bring a like a little travel size bottle and put some of this in there so we'll see what I want to do I'm not sure but this is definitely way better than taking pills to me somebody put me on some game okay so I don't smoke weed right but um, I know I'm gonna be dealing with a lot of pain for recovery and one of these youtubers um, that just got her BBL done not too long ago she uses hemp the CBD um, gummies and that's supposed to help with pain so I went on um, Amazon to try to see if I, I could find some myself and this is what I came with um, I haven't tried it yet I want to try it before I leave or go on my trip um, to the DR but I'm hoping that they're they don't give you that that feeling that high feeling but it does help with pain so I'm gonna opt to do that um, tell me if you guys have tried that in the comment section and if it works for you um, let me know yeah I'm curious but I'm definitely gonna try that I'll let you guys know how that um, makes me feel because I kind of don't want to be on a whole bunch of meds but I will take them because I don't want to be in pain so um, but this is this is an option so I definitely grabbed some of those um, and then that's basically it for the pills and the vitamins I'm some checks so I made sure I got me some checks. also I got my faha and my lumbar um, I got that also from Amazon so this Faha it kind of it has a zipper and it has um, the hooks it has the little hooks there if you see and um, I know I'm not gonna have to necessarily use this right away but I still brought it just in case I need to also to go along with underneath my Faha is um, my all-in-one basically all my foams and my board um, is in this one thing right here so this is my my board and this is all the foamy um, when I found this I was like yes 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 this is everything because I would hate to have to do all that stuffing um, it just seems like it's work and I want it to go where it needs to go and this is all-in-one so this is perfect 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 and like I said I just bought the little lumbar and that should be all I need um, for my faha to be under my faha um, also just on that um, note too um, I'm gonna be bringing as far as clothes wise I'm gonna be bringing some top t-shirts um, and what I'll probably take with me on um, is like an extra pair of um, leggings something to kind of walk in so some slippers I'll have some tennis shoes obviously as I go to the airport um, I might just you know wear some extra layers just in case if I need to change or if I need other clothing I'll have it on me on my way to the airport um, so I'll be traveling with extra clothing on um, I am a back sleeper so what I am going to do is basically use a donut um, inflatable donut basically um, to help me be able to you know kind of feel more comfortable so I'll have my butt obviously in the circle part and everything else I'll have hopefully pillows enough pillows to kind of just make me comfortable um, in a back ish kind of position so that's what I'm hoping to do with that I also have the pump um, with me so these two um, and I have my little neck pillow um, if I decide to I know I'm gonna use this probably there but um, on the way back home I don't know how that will be um, 
I, I'm not going to bring a boppy pillow. I'm not going to do that. So if I need to, I might just sit on this if I have to for a little bit or for just takeoff purposes. I'm going to see if I could try to get a seat in the very back of the plane. So hopefully I can try to stand up the whole time. We'll see. I don't know. I know I'm going to have to sit down before takeoff and for landing, but during the flight I can hopefully stand up and walk around or something like that but um, I'll be trying to utilize this to sit on um, um, my urinal now this isn't the urinal that everybody's been using um, I kind of noticed it's kind of just more like a slender kind of cup um, or uh, mold but this what I have is basically the bottle you know so I'll have to empty the pee and everything out um but hey this is what i found on you know amazon so i'm gonna just work with it you know and then my maxi pads um i was told that your period can come on um so i'm hoping that it doesn't but if it does so happen um i'll have these overnight pads and um uh, for sanitation and cleaning purposes i want my area to be cleaned as clean as possible because I definitely don't want any infections or any of that to happen so I have bought the Clorox disinfecting wipes um, the only other thing that I kind of wanted to like inform you about is or that I've been kind of thinking about lately is the healing process I am so concerned about how that's gonna work out because they're open wounds I know for myself like I have a few scars um, but I've been doing my research to find out how to not have a scar keeping a wet dressing on your wound so as long as you keep a wet dressing whether that be um, like a thick oil um, or a aquaphor Vaseline type um, of dressing on your wound it's going to heal and it's not going to scar and you're going to get your skin looking how it's supposed to look if you decide to do that now everybody's healing is different but from what i've seen on youtube about the topic i believe it works really really well so keeping a wet dressing on your wounds will prevent scarring from forming and having some ugly nasty scars and just you know because i'm dark skinned obviously so my skin is going to hyper hyperpigment so I don't want that hyperpigmentation so I'm going to make sure that I keep a wet dressing on all of those little puncture wounds that I get from this surgery so I think that is it you guys I have for me um I am here to you know let you guys know about my journey and what I'm doing but if you guys know anything that I should be doing or that I should know about definitely um let me know in the comment section make sure you like and subscribe so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye